what I have is a message for Mr. President, and I hope you can believe that this for him. Um, I just want to uh, tell the President that uh, what legacy is he trying to leave behind? If the legacy is to provide for over 150 million Nigerians, or the legacy is to cater for his inner circle. And because Nigerians are the most resilient people in the world, like you've said, um, I, I, I'm just transitioning from a different part of the world to Nigeria. And for me to acclimatize to the system is very tough, it's very hard for me. Because Nigerians are very adamant to change, and I get criticized for that. So what I'm trying to tell you that, tell Mr. President, Nigerians spend about um, 50 to 60 hours walking. They spend another 20 hours in traffic a week. In the Western world, you spend about 30 to 40 hours working and probably about four to five hours uh, in traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, once a situation of traffic and power can increase, production is going to increase tremendously in Nigeria. That's all we need is for the president to give us power. Thank you. Um, obviously, you're a very busy man, and um, I'm also an entrepreneur myself, and I discover being up. In fact, the time is not enough. Can you just give us an insight into how your typical day is like? Yes. All right, I share your own views. And it's not actually even uh, used. Uh, these are very slow. Uh, like yesterday, we were just discussing these same uh, issues. Uh, with the Director of General of uh, the Middle. Why I raise it with him? Because he has always been warning us to be careful because of the population explosion in Nigeria. We are not really doing much to it. Because if you look at it, uh, most of the infrastructure that we have in Nigeria, they are infrastructures of 1976. Yes. We haven't really added any additional infrastructure. You know, and you know, we'll keep managing, keep going, but things will definitely catch up with us one day. And, uh, uh, you know, so as we are having a chat, uh, the, my steward, who was actually, uh, you know, we, we did a self service in the we came with a large team from, uh, you know, uh, you know, I now called my he's been with me for almost about 20 years. And I said, um, uh, Alex, how, when do you normally, you know, when you close, when do you normally get home? He said, oh, well, sometimes it's like you now, you get home about two, three hours. But even like yesterday, that was the day of yesterday, he got home around 12. So what I tried to do, you know, because I explained something to him that, you see, in Lagos, when you, you know, what you should uh, look at is that when you are driving and you want somebody to please help you and allow you to pass, you know why you now see people with stress face? <laughs> <laughs> they don't really even look at your face it's because of the tension. And some people, they are just angry over so many things. Maybe they have no power, something uh, has gone wrong. Maybe not the owner of the vehicle, but the driver. Because when they close, after they drop their bus, the bus will now allow them to leave the car there and go home to their public transport or whatever. They won't get home until 12. A lot of them, they don't see their children until, only, maybe only on Sundays. Because when they are now going to leave their respective homes, they will leave around 5. And when they get back, they will get back to the houses maybe around 12. Sometimes there is... Uh, uh, traffic, especially when it rains, they won't get home until 1 or 2 in the morning. So it is a tough life, but I think you are right. If we increase by having power, by the infrastructure, you know, but the, what will bring the power, I mean, what will bring the infrastructure like roads, the power has to come fast. So the, that power that we keep talking about is like a trunk of a tree. Unless we have that power, the branches and the leaves will not be able to work. And that's why they just say, okay, no power, no more growth. But you know, this same thing they will keep, you know, we are repeating them continuously. And uh, unless, and that's why I actually encourage having some private sector people into the government, into any government, not only necessarily this one. 
so that at least they can use their own private sector experience and see how things can be moved. I mean, it's just like what I keep saying, even during our own economic uh, management team, you know, and that's a limit to what you can do, you know, uh, but I've said it more than once that, look, Mr. President, government can never deliver power. Let us find a strategy where this power can be delivered, and that's the, really the truth. My day <coughs> is not really very structured uh, because of several issues. And uh, really, you know, sometimes I, you know, I just come myself, but, you know, the, the demand of my time really is extremely high. Uh, most especially, you know, in Nigeria, we have a lot of ceremonies, unnecessary ones. <laughs> you, know, you have somebody celebrating 50th, somebody celebrating 30th, somebody celebrating... Uh, you know, the death of his mother 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, Remembrance, uh, you know, somebody even doing renewal of vows. <laughs> so there are several things. And you know, being that really, especially like myself, where I have quite a lot of friends, both here and the northern part, uh, it is actually, you know, tiring me apart. Like today, for example, I started since around. Five. You know, I had uh, a few uh, things you know, to take care of. I barely even had to uh, call my baba. You know, I had uh, a haircut at six in the morning. You know, uh, so sometimes what I do is I go to the gym. I have not been going now for about four five days. I had a bit of a uh, back problem, you know, but it's getting better now. But I go there and uh, make sure I exercise myself about 10 kilometers a day. You know, just to make sure that I take out of any stress that is trying to set it. You know, which is very really important. Really. Very important. Exercise is, the, is better than any medicine that you can take. Exercise and enough uh, sleep. By my sleep, really, I sleep more flying than on my bed. <laughs> no, yeah. I sleep, you know, no, because, you know, um, I'm somebody that I don't switch on my phone. My phone is 24 hours on. Uh, only of recent now, I learned how to just put it on a silent uh, <laughs> uh, phone. Uh, you know, so when I sleep, I can sleep for four hours or five, but I feel okay, because the four or five hours, I sleep very deep. So it's a very sound sleep. I don't need six, seven, or eight hours. So even four, five hours is okay, uh, you know, uh, for me. Uh, then I go to my office, normally at eight. I'm always there at eight o'clock. Sometimes I like to be in some taxi meeting. You know, some people, they don't like to meet you early in the morning, you know, uh, because they're busy also, you know. But I stay in the office. Uh, up to eight, nine, and then I go home. <clears throat> the only free day that I have, which I try to make sure, if I don't have anything on Saturdays, which is very difficult, then I will uh, make sure that I don't, my driver, my security, and co, they don't come to uh, join me. You know, I try to just keep reminding myself who I am, that I'm doing. And uh, I drive around on my own, alone. Um, I go to friends, I go to our club, boat club. Sometimes I go out on the boat. Sometimes I stay there and, uh, you know, mingle with people that ordinarily don't see me. And, uh, you know, if there are weddings, I go. You know, uh, like today I have a wedding in I couldn't. I promised them before that then I realized that we have set this date. You know, so I cancelled and um, by see from here yeah, now I'm going to Jebodi for somebody bearing his mother that will make the reception. Then I'll rush to the airport. I'll go to uh, Abuja and I have meetings with about two three people. I'll see I'll go to Mr. President Effect. And then I have two meetings after this one. Then I'll come back and sleep in Lagos. Like tomorrow I'll cancel everything. I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I'll just drive myself around and just relax with my 
Thanks. But the demand that you have, you know, if you are going to follow the demand of time, I will only be able to give my business 20%. Really, it's very high. You know, it's very, very high. You know, that's what I keep telling. Somebody say, I say, yes, it's true. You see, the problem that you have is that the demand that you have, especially to do with outside world, you know, because we don't have many good stories in Africa. So the few stories that you have in Africa, especially if it is attached to an individual, the demand that you have, there are being one compress somewhere, one prime minister is inviting you to do this, you know, I mean, for example, now I've been battling with the Singapore, there is a conference that they want me to come and, uh, you know, address, you know, their own business, you know, and I'm on so many uh, platforms, for example, the uh, Secretary General were on his renewable energy board, which they are meeting, like, it was yesterday, uh, the GG um, of uh, Yenido reminded me that we will have a meeting for about four days in uh, Brazil, the Secretary General. But you know, I mean, somebody like me, I don't have four days to spare anyway. <laughs> and that's the difficult uh, part of that. But it's something also that you need to do. It's something that actually keeps you busy. And sometimes I hate to give up on it because something can just happen now and I have to go to Dubai. And sometimes I go all the way from here to China and spend only five hours in China and come back. I arrive at normally 4 o'clock and I turn around. But that one I don't take my private jet to go to China because the pilots need hours to rest. And the hours that they need, which is nine hours to rest, I don't have the nine hours. So I have to take, uh, you know, embrace, arrive at 4. And, uh, you know, the 380, which you take your shower. So I will just go straight to my meetings, finish. By 9 o'clock, I'm at the airport and we take off at 11 connect in Dubai and come. So, you know, that's the kind of life that somebody has to uh, work with. Because if you are going to take life easy, it is almost impossible. You know, I mean, it's like now, okay, fine. I even promised myself that when I went for that four days vacation in January, because I have not really taken vacation for 14 years. You know, yes. But I travel also, <laughs> so uh, it's not that I don't go to here. I'm here, you know, sitting tight in the chair. No, I travel, uh, you know, and uh, you know, luckily, you know, at least I've done quite a lot in my life in the past. Where well, now, these things they don't really mean much uh, to me, you know, because at my age now, I won't be ready to go out with friends to go to nightclub or something. Like so, my only enjoyment is just to sit around at home with my friends, exercise. I like to exercise quite a lot. And then, uh, if people are doing weddings or whatever, I'd like to just go. I show for. I mean, 10, 20 minutes, then I go. But the demand is quite a lot. You know, because I remember last week, I went to, was it last week? So we went to the governor of uh, Ekiti's mother's uh, there. You know, that same day, I had more than four events. So before going there, I had to do two events. Went to uh, the Indian came back around six, and then I went to the last. Uh, so, and then the demand, you know, people keep demanding that they want to meet you, they want to, uh, you know, meet you. For you to give them that window, it's almost impossible. And I don't like to give somebody an appointment while you go to my office and I won't be there. But see, I don't also control my time because sometimes you are there having, uh, you plan that you want to have meetings with somebody in the morning. They say, no, Mr. President said I should come and see him. Well, luckily for me, yes, I can go into Abuja and leave Abuja at one or two in the morning come back, sleep, then you start the day. But if you come back in the morning, the traffic coming into Lagos is another 